Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a celebrity inspired makeup look. I haven't done a celeb inspired look in ages. I absolutely love Bella Hadid. I think she's so beautiful and elegant and Patrick Ta, a makeup artist that I follow on Instagram who's super talented, did her makeup in this amazing fierce wing. It looks absolutely incredible so I'm going to recreate that look. I've met Patrick before, I was super excited. Um, he said that he'd seen my videos before and I freaked the fuck out. I wish I knew exactly what products he used in this tutorial, but Bella Hadid is the Dior face at the moment. So I'm going to try to use as many Dior products as I can. For my notification squad today, I have a really good prize. It's the Dior Addict Lip Glow, which is a really nice everyday lipstick that is just clear but interacts with your pH of your lips and it creates a really nice custom pink and it's supremely hydrating and really nice. I wear them all the time. You know, I'm on to my second or third tube right now and I have a spare one. So you just have to make sure you're a member of my notification squad. So subscribe and turn the notification bell on and please leave a comment after 12 hours is up, I will pick a winner and pin that comment and reply asking for your contact details. So good luck guys. I hope you guys enjoy. So I literally just had a peel. I did tell her that I'm going to be filming this so it wasn't too intense, but my skin is a little bit red and down on my chest too. I slicked my hair up because Bella Hadid has a really angular face and her eyes are really like angled and I can only get that look if I pull my hair right back. So I did that. So the look appears to be, I've only got like two pictures to go off, but it's a really intense wing with not much color under the eye. So I'm just going to line up some tape. When I look at the picture, the wing is lining up kind of exactly with her lower lash line. So I'm going to use my lower lash line as the guide. Okay, is that okay? It's kind of stubby, stab stab in my eye, but... I feel like I could be here all day trying to line these up. So I'm just going to apply it as best as I can and um, hope that it all goes well. I'm gonna start with eyebrows because I'm really into that technique after going to the Makeup by RL Masterclass. This is the Brow Chalk by Dior. Bella's eyebrows are really kind of straight and up, which I think helps adds to the angular look to her face. So I'm just straightening them out Spock style by removing my arch, like coloring it in, and then adding more color to the tail of the brow above it. Just using a brush to shape it a little bit. They're really messy, but I'm gonna go in with concealer and all that stuff now. Benefit Boing concealer on a brush. Go all around the edges. Her eyebrows are definitely really natural, but I can't really achieve that while also trying to change my brow shape. So I'm gonna end up with Instagrammy brows all over the eyelid. This is not a great brow pencil if you have to change your brow shape. It's super chunky and you absolutely cannot be precise with it. I would only recommend this if you're really happy with your natural eyebrow shape and you're just trying to fill in gaps or just trying to thicken up what you've already got. Okay, so I've got my brows on, I've got concealer all over my eyelids and I'm going to set all of that with the La Mer powder. I know Patrick really likes La Mer foundation, so I'm gonna assume that he has this powder. And I'll just flatten everything out with my finger and then go right over the top, including the eyebrows. The liner is obviously the most important part. I'm going to do it before I do any eyeshadow, even, not even sure I'm even going to do eyeshadow, but I just wanna get this in first so that if I stuff it up, there's not gonna be eyeshadow on there to fix or anything. So I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics Gel Liner. This is the Studio Pro Eyeliner and it's awesome. I'm gonna take the gel eyeliner on a Kylie Cosmetics brush. I'm holding a mirror with my hand so that I can keep my eyes open. That way I can see how it will look while my eyes are actually open. I'm still being careful with my brush even though I have the guide there. I'm using the picture as a reference and when she has her eyes open, you can see that the wing kind of just swoops in and meets at her crease, which is about there for me. A little marker for myself when I get around to sweeping the wing in. I'll just start building up the liner at the outer corner, connecting it now to that little marker I made. So I'm just doing it really lightly so I've got a guide. Once you've got the saturation of color on, it will be really difficult for me to fix it. So I've just gone in really lightly with that. So I actually think it was a lot thicker than this, but I'm just gonna leave it like that and try to match the other side and then I'm gonna go in with more intensity. So I've got more on my brush, 
and I'm just gonna start slowly building it up and going backward and forward on both eyes so that I'm really making sure that I'm matching them. If I feel like I've gone up too far on one, I can just take the concealer brush and fix it up because it's not fully saturated yet. When I want to go all in with the color, I'll just focus the product. Oh, what is that? A little pubie wooby. Not really. I'm gonna start with the brush right at my lash line, so that's where the saturation of product is. I just really want a really opaque black eyeliner there at the moment. Okay, now I'm gonna take this off. It worked! It worked! It worked. Okay, other eye. Going in just to fix up any buckling. When you're finished using your brushes, just swivel it around in a face halo, like an old one if you've got any old ones, and they work really good for color switches on your brushes. This product here is called the L'Oreal Super Liner Smoke Isame. And it's actually a little container of powder that has this attachment to it. And a little bit of powder goes on the tip of the brush and you can use it to smoke out your liner. I actually really like it a lot. So I'm just going to use that to smoke out the top of the liner. So I'm just patting that over the liner. And then I'm going to go over it with a brush to very carefully blend it out. You can do it with the actual applicator, but it's a little bit chubby. So it's a bit difficult to maneuver it over the eye, which is like really fiddly. To do the blending, I will take a pencil brush. This one is from Zoeva. Make sure it's nice and clean. And you can just start working over the top. Little backwards and forwards lines parallel to the eyeliner or just following what's already there. <laughs> it's huge. Come say hi. Sebastian just got back from the gym. He wants to do show and tell of his new mug. All I gotta say is don't make fun of my mug. Why would anyone make fun of that? Because it's huge. Oh my god! That is huge, pan for scale. <laughs> Same shit, different day. <laughs> I love it, it's like as big as your head. Not that, well yeah, I guess. So. It really is. Take another little clean pencil brush with a bit of La Mer powder on it. And I'm just using that again to really make sure it's really perfectly blended. I'm really happy with the thickness of this one but the right one is just needing a little bit more. So I will dab into that area. Okay, that's looking good. To keep everything really sharp, I'm just taking the concealer brush with nothing new on it and using it to just make sure that the triangle or the angles of the liner are really contained. With a little bit more eyeliner on the brush, I'm just going to work it into the lash line. Kind of letting it go over the waterline, but not too much because I don't want it to transfer onto my lower one. Now I'll just curl the lashes. I've got these Dior mascaras. Wasn't like super mega impressed with them but it is a pretty iconic one, it's called Dior Show. I do think there are better ones now. But anyway, this is the primer. I've never been into lash primers, but I was just kind of intrigued when I saw it in my drawer. I don't remember last time I would have used this. So then for mascara, this is Dior Show. It's got a classic mascara one, which I really like. I eat my words, I really like this mascara. Maybe it's actually really good on that primer. It's making my lashes really thick and they're sitting nicely. Not going to do the lower lashes. I did get a little bit on my eyelid, so I'm just going to use the old concealer brush. Again, with nothing on it, to swipe that off. It was only a little bit. 
Dior has this Fix It Color 2-in-1 Prime and Color Perfect Concealer. This one's peach and if you can see that, it's the color corrector surrounding, I think it's like an eye balm. So I'm just going to draw it straight over my skin. Oh lord, there was eyeliner there. I should have <laughs> checked that. And I'm just going to use a foundation brush just so that it's quick. Obviously be very careful of the eyeliner that I just spent half my adult life finishing. My eyes are kind of flaky under there, I think, from my facial. So there's that. Before I move on to foundation though, I'm going to use the Glow Maximizer Light Boosting Primer. Oh my gosh, my skin is so red. <laughs> so that's on and I really love these kinds of primers that have all the shimmers in it because I find that when your face is like reflective, it automatically looks more even and especially when you put foundation on over the top, it kind of means that you like require less coverage to get the even look. The Dior Air Flash Foundation is really awesome. You can just spray it directly on your face. It will kind of get everywhere and I don't like the idea of inhaling that. So I actually just spray it straight onto the brush or onto the back of my hand. Wait, make sure you shake it really well. Then take your brush and you can start stippling it all over. Ooh, you can really see the glow coming out from that. Oh my god, I almost went over my eyeliner. My hair is up, so I do have to work it into the hairline a little bit. Okay, Benefit Boing, just over my blemishes. This one's the Industrial Strength one, and it covers everything. There's nothing peeking through when you use this. Okay, I'm gonna contour my face with this Burberry contour stick. Swooping it down around there because she has a really carved out bone structure naturally. And if you look at her head on, it kind of does that like naturally. I'll just use that foundation brush. I'm gonna try use either padding motions or really small circular motions so I'm not moving the product around too much. I don't want it smeared everywhere. I'm gonna try really precisely. So I'm using like the side of the brush so the smallest angle is hitting my face. I like to use the same brush sometimes as my foundation because then I know it's gonna mix in really nice and evenly. You can use a fresh brush too, but there's no need for me. Doing my jaw as well. The jaw is something that I always accidentally leave a little bit unblended, so I'm gonna really make sure I'm not forgetting to blend out every part of that. I'm just gonna take Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder Foundation. I'm going to put brightness under my eye, Age Rewind from Maybelline. I just bought this one in Canada actually, I thought it was really pretty. And it's a new one. It's a new one. It's called Thrill. Taking this light shade, looks really shimmery. A little bit of mascara on those lower lashes. The only blush I have from Dior is this one. It's called Dior Skin Nude Tan, the Dye Edition 002. I bought this a number of years ago now in Selfridges, I think. But it's so pretty, a mixture of pinks and peaches. What does she have on in the picture? It actually does look pretty peachy. So I'm going to apply that here. It's matte. I have this really fancy by Terry color. It's the Fresh Contrast Contouring compact it's really teensy tiny but so heavy oh. it's got a light contour and then like a pink I can't really tell if that's meant to be a brightening blush or a powder for under the eyes but I'm just gonna take the contour shade that brush sucks I'll take my Surratt brush instead I'm 
having trouble getting the powders to stick to my skin right now. It looks a little bit patchy close up to me. That is looking really muddy. <laughs> what? This is taking me ages and now I've got a muddy contour. Oh, fuck. I also just bought this. It's called Hollow Gold. It's a highlighter. It's actually duochrome. It's not holographic, but still. It's pretty. I'm gonna take that. Wow, that's so cool. It's a really wet look. And this is new hay, I just got it. So it's probably still in store. Gonna take Kylie Cosmetics Candy K lip liner. I want to add a little bit more brown. Her lips appear to be on the brownie toned side of things. So I've got Spice Lip Liner from MAC. And then I will take number 226 lipstick from Dior. Gonna add brow gel now. And I also wanna add lashes. These are the Quill lashes. Oh, they've got another pair in there. These are the Quill lashes from Sephora. They're not super long, but they're really nice and fluffy. Quick hack when it comes to the eyelashes. I've got two colors of glue here. I've got dark tone glue on the outer edge of the lash and clear glue on the inner lash. The dark glue will dry dark over the dark eyeliner and the clear glue will dry clear over the area that has no eyeliner, which is the inner part, and it's not going to affect the eyeliner look. I'm just gonna sit them on top of my eyelashes. Okay. I've then got gel eyeliner on this little brush. Push up into the lashes. Try to make the lashes set up and out in the same direction of the wing. Just gonna add a little bit of nose contour. That is the finished look. I'm obsessed with this look. Oh my god, that wing is just so epic. Okay guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what other celeb looks you want me to try recreate. I did see a really cool Hailey Steinfeld look a while ago that I tweeted that I never did. So I should probably do that. I have a couple of palettes I wanna play with. I bought the new Pat McGrath. I've got Kristen Dominique's Latte palette. So there's heaps I've got to play with. I've just gotta figure out a look to do. Okay guys, please remember to leave a comment within the first 12 hours to go into the running to win that Dior product. And I'll see you very, very soon in my upcoming videos. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you then. Bye.